welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today I'm very excited. We have all Australian drugstore makeup, pharmacy, chemist, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put on my face today. I bought three new things today. Um, I went to W7 and I went to Chemist Warehouse and bought a few W7 products, all five dollars each. I went to Australis. I went to Australis. I went to Priceline and got the Australis Dewy and Daring products, 50% off, $7.50 each. It's very cheap. Now, these were just a solid $5, but I think these go for about $15 each normally, but we'll have a good sale here. So everything is pretty much new, pretty much. I think there's a couple of things that aren't, but otherwise, let's get into it. I think we'll start with the foundation. Um, there are some things I have multiples of, like blush. I have three blushes. So I have the Flower Beauty Gel Crush in Peach Crush, Dewy and Daring Blush in First Love, and then the other Dewy and Daring Blush in Girl Next Door. Now the, re the thing is, the thing is, my eyeshadow is not new, but new to me. It's the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in Stardust. It's kind of cool toned. So I was even thinking maybe doing a cool toned look which would be this blush. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then saving, cause these are both warm, pinky, peachy, beautiful. But I think today we're gonna go a little bit more cool tone. And also I'm wearing a purple dress. I feel like it's the vibe. So I'm not gonna use these two, but I'll swatch them for you anyway. These are so emollient, it's insane. So that was Summer Fling from Australis. And then this is Peach Crush from Flower Beauty. So you can see very pigmented, blends out, and then Flower Beauty. A little bit more, is also very emollient, but way more sheer. And this is a lip and cheek. Oh, there's always a lawnmower. Yesterday there was a lawnmower going for a long time. It's so loud I had to close the door. It's just a lot of lawnmowing going on. I guess it is summertime, officially, summertime as of today right i've got my not this is not drugstore but it's clean this is the coco cosmetics by chloe sponge i got it from beauty bay and it is so freaking delicious i just want to eat it so let's go in with the w7 it's glow time radiant foundation five dollars this is the shade Ivory Glow, I think. Ivory Glow. The, I got the second shade. The first shade looked really light. So I think this will be okay. Oh, it's yellow. And I always make the mistake of being like, I love it or hate it the moment I apply it. I'm not gonna say if I love it or hate it until the end of the video because we need to see how the products apply over the top, how it sets with powder, etc., etc. But I think in terms of color, this is fine because this is like a light to medium coverage. So if this was full coverage, I think this would be too yellow, but I think it's okay. Yeah, definitely more of a light coverage, which I like, especially in summertime. So we can see it's just kind of even my skin tone, but you can still see my, like my, I always get blemishes around here. Not this side, it's always this side. Tell me what that means. It's always on my left side. And I know chin is hormonal, but it's always on my left side. So I've gone in for another pump to see if I can get more coverage, but Maybe the tiniest bit more coverage, but not a lot. It's giving similar vibes to the mud makeup, which I, I think that goes for $6 at Woolies, where it's just kind of glowy. But the mud makeup has more coverage. This is definitely lighter. The urge for me to tell you my opinion on this foundation already is very strong. And we're gonna go in with the um, light diffusing concealer. Now, got a bone to pick W7. You got no shades on here. And I could see 50% of them had been opened. I think that's because people couldn't tell the shade. So I think there's one shade is what I'm trying to say because there is no indication of a shade like anywhere. 
Because they do a lot of dupes. I reckon it's going to dupe maybe like the Shantikai, the YSL, Touche Clart. Like really light concealer, which is perfect with this. I didn't know that this was going to be very light coverage. I knew it was going to be dewy, but it is a twist up. It's called the Light Diffusing Concealer. I just thought it looked nice. And um, there we go. Okay. That's it there. It's like a pink. Feels weird. Um, I was trying to look for a different one of, um, I was watching this TikTok this morning of, I just had her name. I can't think of her name. Um, she did a TikTok on this W7 concealer. I went to W7, oh, Chemist Warehouse, and there were four different kinds of concealers in their vegan range, their HD full coverage. They had this one and there was another one as well. None of them were the ones that she had recommended and like she was like, this is the concealer. Um, and it wasn't there. So I decided to get this one instead because the other ones looked like way more full coverage. So if this is the only shade, it's basically, I'm guessing like a color correcting, brightening type of concealer situation. Right, let's use a brush for this because this just doesn't have the right tip. Although I could use it. It does have a weird consistency, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe this is more just like a brightening tool and a concealer. I could kind of tell as soon as I put it on my hand that it's a weird texture. It's not creamy. It is, what's that word where it kind of, it's textured. No, that's not good at all. I don't even need to let that sit. I know that that's not good. We'll just leave it though, we're committing. It smells weird too. I don't think the foundation smell. I didn't get that vibe. The foundation doesn't smell. This don't, This is not a good product. Like there's no coverage and it's creasing. Strange. It's kind of like highlightery, but it's not shimmery. How do I describe this product? It's glowy. It's definitely light, but it says light diffusing. Isn't it supposed to be the opposite of? I don't know what is going on, but that's a no for me. That's a no from me. Right, um, I will do powder at the end. This is the Gotta Glow Translucent Luminous Setting Powder. It is, I, um, what did I do? I tried the tester and it's like a shimmer, shimmery setting powder. I think it's a dupe for the hourglass. Oh, it looks yellow, uh-oh. Can you see it's a bit shimmery? Maybe it'll be more like a summer glow kind of situation. Anyway, we'll do that at the end because we have the cream contour and the highlight and the and the blush from Australis. So let's, or maybe I'll do my brows. No, 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 I'll do the cream. So we've got Summer Fling, which is the lightest bronzer shade. It's more of a cream contour. And wow, that concealer is not good. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I did a TikTok on this, so I've used it once, and I already know I like it. But I wanted to do it in a, in a video. Um, I really liked it with the brush, so I'm gonna use it with the brush. It was fine with the sponge as well, but this is just my favorite brush for cream products. It's the Sigma F47. I will link it down below. I'll see if you can get it at Sephora. It is the absolute best brush. It's called the Multitasker and it's just perfect. It's just soft but it's still um, tight so it's good for blending out cream products. I don't have any powder bronzer so I might because I'm a, I'm a bronzer gal. I love bronzer. I think I could live without blush if I had bronzer. I just love it. Not that I would choose that life but if I had to I would pick bronzer over blush. I just need it for my fairness. It just warms, warms me up. Do I need more? We'll see, maybe I don't. That's pretty good, hey. Don't get too crazy, Sam. I know you want to. I know you want to. I always just do the excess on each side of the nose. So I'm not contouring my nose. I'm just giving a little bit of definition. And then the blush we picked is Girl Next Door. This is stunning. I love this one. 
Um, I really like Summer Fling too, but I just think this is just the perfect everyday wearable blush shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Did you see how easy that was to blend? Like, you wouldn't even need this highlighter. It's so beautiful. We're gonna use the highlighter though. I almost didn't buy the highlighter because I don't really use cream highlighters a lot. I mean, like I already have a lot of highlighters and it's not something that I use all the time. And if I do, I use the tiniest bit, but I swatched it and it's really pretty. This is the shade It Girl. Um, I'll show you the swatch. It's really soft. It's really pretty. It's like a champagne color and I really like it. Like I really like it. And yes, I'm using the one brush for everything because that's what I do. So it's just so pretty. I'm going to do whatever's left where the sun hits in the center of my face. Just kind of gives a little glow without you literally putting highlighter straight on your face. So see how pretty that looks? So far we're doing good guys. So far we're doing good. Like this foundation is suitable for all these cream products because it's light and glowy just like the products. Oh, I had no idea it was gonna be so successful. All right, let's do my brows. This is the Emco Beauty uh, Duo Brow. I think I did use this on camera. Oh, uh, will I use this or will I use my Ultra 3? Now I brought my Ultra 3 just for this bully because I want to use the duo brow because it's got the highlighter end as well. Um, but look, I've almost finished my Ultra 3. So this one doesn't have the spoolie because the other end is a highlight. I think I did this in a video already, but we're going to use it again. And I have a 20% discount code with Emco Beauty. That is also going to be linked down below. All my brands that I have discounts with or shoppable links, I have in a section down below in the description. And I don't make a commission, but it is traceable so they can see. It can, they can see if I influence or not. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, do I? But this is still a really nice product. See, this shade is blonde, which is the light medium shade, which is actually the color of my hair, my brows. It's the perfect shade. And you know the Magic Brows, the um, fiber gel? That's the shade Blonde too. It's the perfect shade if you have light brown um, brows, but they're not warm. It's more cool toned. And what I find is working in the beauty industry is I find a lot of, most people have cooler toned eyebrows, even if their hair is warmer. I need to pluck my eyebrows. Stat, it's getting so bushy. I've been noticing um, younger women on TikTok are uh, doing thin eyebrows again, guys. It's coming back. I actually like, don't mind thin eyebrows. It's the little tiny ones that I don't think will come back, but the thinner eyebrows are coming back and I, I don't mind it. I'm happy the way my brows are. It took a lot of effort to get into this point because I was a teenager in the early 2000s. So they were, th they were small. Right, um, my clear brow gel is already getting not so clear, but that's the nature of clear brow gels from Emco Beauty. This is a, whoops, this is a new product for them. And it is fantastic. It properly sets my brows. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It properly sets my brows and it's not crusty. I love it. I'm gonna be finishing this soon. And I probably bulk buy using my own discount code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I do love Emco brow products, like their holy grail status in my opinion. Okay, that is still creasing. How many times have I blended that out? What a useless product that is. Such a shame because I feel bad because then I'm never going to use it again and it's like wasted. But also, I don't want to give that to someone else. It's, not, it's a pointless product. Okay, let's do my eyes. All I have is this, but what I've got is my Project Pan bronzer. I'm gonna just use as a in the crease kind of shade. I did repress it yesterday because it was 
at that stage where I couldn't get into the corners and couldn't get enough product. So, I mean, this technically is drugstore, but I think it's also discontinued. So just if you want to emulate this, use your own bronzer. And that's going to make it just a little less icy and a little more neutral because this is, I mean, this is not warm toned, but it's still a brown. So it's still going to warm up that icy cream shadow shade. Beautiful. And I'm just going to use my ring finger for this. I've used this once or twice already off camera and it's very pretty. I just love Revlon Colorstay um, cream eyeshadows. I just think they're so good. And whenever they're on sale, I have a little peek. My favorite is caramel. That's just like the best. Is it caramel? I think it's caramel. This one's super creamy. So, so pretty. Just like simple, but beautiful. I could definitely build it up. I might build it up in the center. You know why I love these? They dry down, so they're really creamy and you have time to blend them and then they dry down. They're just really good quality. Loves it. All right, my mascara. Oh, I forgot it does come with a little brush and it's not bad because it really gets in there, but not today. Um, my mascara is just one I'm trying to finish, the Essence Double Trouble. I like to focus on a, just a few at a time so I'm not opening them all. We have lips, but I want to use this powder, but I don't know, it's kind of tinted. I'm going to put a little bit in the cap here. I do like this kind of packaging. I've got a big fluffy brush. I also have this cream situation, so maybe I'll do a little bit down here. I don't know, it's looking kind of yellow. All right. I'm just gonna, I've only got a tiny bit. I'm just gonna swirl it all in there and then tap it off. I'm a bit nervous, I'm gonna make myself yellow. It just said translucent, but that is not translucent. Do a little bit on my forehead, but I'm not gonna put it on my cheeks. Oh, I see it. It's coming up as like a gold shimmer highlighter on my face. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Luckily I'm not going anywhere important today. I think this is nice if you are more tanned than me. But that just looks like a blob of gold shimmer on my forehead. Let me see if I can blend it out. No, I've done, the damage is done. Oh no. Okay, I don't love that product. I don't love it. Maybe as like a highlight, a really soft highlighter. Yeah, so I think this I would use if I was fake tanned. So maybe it's like a summer all over glow. Actually, this would be nice on the body. Yeah, I'm gonna use this as a body. Because it's got a beautiful golden glow, but just not for my face skin color, I think. Yeah, I think this is more like a decolletage moment. Let's, let's give her a go. Yeah, that's a really pretty body shimmer. $5. I don't want to waste it, you know. I'm definitely going to throw out that concealer. Yeah, I think that's nice because it's powdered too. All right, I'm gonna keep that for the body, but I wouldn't recommend it for the face if you're my skin tone. If you are medium skin toned, I think this would be nice, but it definitely has a shimmer to it. Right, and then uh, my lips. I did bring a lipstick. I was thinking of doing more like a, like a blotted lip. This is the Essence Cool Collagen Lipstick in shade My Advice. So it's supposed to be plumping. Yeah, it's got like that minty zing. Beautiful. I don't know if you can get this in store because like Essence sent me a package with these and other products, but I haven't seen this in Priceline at all. I haven't been able to like link this for you on the internet. 
And I'm not sure about this, but it's very nice. See how soft that is? Um, and then I brought lip gloss. I might do the Emco Beauty, but because it's clear, I'm gonna put it on my hand first because I don't wanna mess up the color. And then I'll just use my finger. This is a really nice lip oil. It's a dupe for the Dior lip oil and it is incredible. I really love it. It's just like, it's not sticky, but it's still super glossy. Okay, overall thoughts, because that is everything. Overall thoughts, this is actually quite nice. The powder I put up here ruined it, but before I powdered, it was looking nice. Like it still looks nice all down here on my nose. It's hard because the concealer was really bad and the, and the powder wasn't great. But I do like this um, foundation. I think I'm gonna do a TikTok on it. I'm gonna wear it a few more times before I review it on TikTok, but I actually think I quite like this. I like that it's a really light coverage. It's definitely got potential, definitely got potential. Um, I love these. I love these. I mean, you can just see the proof is in the pudding that it looks really pretty as well. Um, I don't know about longevity though. I haven't worn it long enough to be able to tell you how it lasts on the skin because it doesn't really dry down. It does stay emollient. So for a lot of people that's fine, but some people like it to dry down. Okay, if I had to compare it to the Mecca Max ones, the Mecca Max are a little bit more, I don't wanna say dry, but they're not oily like these are. So they have really good staying power because they have, they're not as creamy when you put it on. So it's a bit harder to blend out. Like this is super easy to blend out, but I feel like they have that long way because of that. So even though these are super blendable upon application, the true test is, does it just wipe off through the day? Like how does it last through the day? That's my question. So that is everything guys. Um, let me know if you want me to use any of these in the next videos. Like if you would prefer me to use the flower or the first love Australis. Um, let me know because I can pop it aside for a future vid. I probably will just because it is new as well. Um, but you know how sometimes you just get like multiples of things and you're just like, I don't need three blushes. Why did I buy three blushes? Alas, we are here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a lovely evening or day or morning whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.